Hey guys, so I promised to make a video about my altar, and I have just about enough time to do it and jump out. Um, I have to go pick up Ryan, and it's the only time when I'm actually alone right now is when I can make videos. But um, I want to talk about altars, and I would love, before I jump in, I would love to see people's video responses to this. I, I would love to see your altar and why is it set up that way. Um, a lot of people with altars, um, they usually put uh, what they need at the moment. Um, some people have multiple altars. Some people have one just basic main altar like how I have. Um, and a lot of people like to have simplicity, a simple altar with only simple, only the necessary needs. Some people have festival uh, altars. I would like to say mine is um, mine is bejeweled <laughs> altar, and what I mean by bejeweled is that it has everything that I I may not use during rituals. Everything that I may not oppose uh, to opposed to work with or even have anything that's part of the spell, but I have it. Most of my main working areas where you see my oracle cards, right? This is my most of my working area. This is where I work with, and this just happens to be there. This just so happens to be there. Um, and that's my working candle, friend. I love that candle. Um, this changes seasonal sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I'll just move things out of the way and then I just lay a cloth on top of it and have it at seasonal. And sometimes the whole thing will change seasonal. Um, so it just depends on my mood, actually. The re and the reason why I have all these things is because they remind me of magic. And they, they help me get into my magic mode. Um, as you clearly see, there's a lot of female stuff. But um, this is slowly growing. Give me a chance. And just like little things. Some people actually have just an anthem, a candle, a chalice, a pentacle, and a wand on their altar. And some people, like me, who has a lot of stuff. Kind of a bejeweled one. And I really I really like my altar. I'm really happy and satisfied. So for all the newbies who are watching this or and learning how to build up an altar, is that build an altar your way. Um... But make sure it's sturdy. Make sure you respect it because it's a very respect space. So make sure you have a designated place for it. Um, it could be your nightstand. It could be a windowsill. It could be, you know, like how mine is. Mine is actually in my closet. My whole entire closet is witchy. Um, besides that, my toothbrush charger. It would be the only non-witchy. Other than that, everything in here is witchy. I... I organized up there to get rid of all the stuff that was non-witchy. So, um, just depends. If you have the space to do it, then so be it. This took me a good, um, a good ten years to get where I'm at right now. A good ten years of building. Because the first, I, I would say the first four to three, three, three or four years of me starting the craft, I had nothing. And that was perf I was perfectly fine. I just had books, and I was perfectly fine with it. I, of course, I had candles, those little tiny little velvet candles you get from Fred Meyer's. I had that, but I was perfectly fine with what I had, and I'm still happy with what I have. Um, it's just getting kind of overwhelming with a lot of junk. Um, yeah, that's all witchy stuff, too, as well. So... I hope this kind of uh, I hope this kind of helps you guys out because lately I've been having little messages about altar setups and what to do with it and I have it on my other channel too as well I have my altar channel up my altar setup for beginners on that channel on my Wicked Gym channel so check that out um, so yeah I would love to see video responses of people other people's altars and why is it set up that way and I would love it because for me I like to keep mine a little bejeweled to kind of help influences certain things. Um, but it does change a little periodically every now and then, but not many people notice it because I don't really expose it too much. Um, but I do expose it. Until then, guys, love to see video responses. Blessed be.